Am I the idiot for punishing my daughter for not helping us search for my niece? Information daughter 17 and niece 6 and then BSP, my niece was. The only child in our family I found out about my daughter when she was 9. This does not math. If you found out about your daughter when she was 9, and your niece wasn't even born until 2 years later, why would your niece be seen as the only child in your family? Did your relatives reject, not accept your daughter? Do they generally favor your niece? And if the two of them don't get along to the point that your daughter wishes your niece would disappear, why would you take them out together? I'm tending towards ESH right now, but would like to get some context before deciding. Info. My daughter is clearly jealous of her and has been very mean towards her. What are you doing to address the jealousy? You don't sound like you like your daughter at all, to be honest. You're acting like your family can't have a great relationship with her, like your niece because she was older. There's plenty of love in everyone's heart for all kids, no matter the age. Being a rainbow baby doesn't mean a kid needs to be put on a pedestal. I'm sorry, but your niece is not your daughter. I'm not taking up for her because it wasn't okay at all. But it sounds like you need to take a step back and look at your own actions with your daughter to find out why her actions are this way. More info needed. What does grounding consist of? No social media? No going out? No TV? What? What do hope will be accomplished by grounding her? Edit. Based on your answer, you're the idiot never in the history of being grounded has having your electronics taken away and not being permitted to go out caused a child to stop acting like a jealous kid and grow up. I don't disagree with the no electronics or not going out for actions that would cause a lesson to be learned by that punishment. I stole someone's electronics, didn't come home at curfew, broke someone else's belongings, electronics, that type of thing. However, taking away electronics and not allowing the child out isn't going to teach her not to be jealous. This is an emotional response to something either your treatment or perceived treatment of her or deep-seated issues. You would do better by getting the entire family into counseling in order to address what the issues are. Her being grounded like that are just going to foster more ill will towards your beloved rainbow baby. Her actions and what she said weren't acceptable behaviors. However, repercussions for those would be therapy, not punishment. If your math is correct, your daughter was around your family for two years before she was presumably dropped like a bad habit when the new baby, the one you called the only child in the family, did you forget your daughter was a child for a long time too, arrived. It sounds like your extended family is tight-knit but treats your daughter like an outsider and you're doing nothing to stand up for her. I'd be bitter too. I bet she watches all sorts of favoritism you've conveniently left out of your post. Just because she's not a child doesn't mean she can't be made to feel included in other ways. Apologize to her for how she's being treated and figure out how to make her more welcome in your life. You're the idiot as the adult in this situation. You're the idiot. She's obviously feeling neglected and lashing out. You are sending the message that she is less important than her sister. She's also not responsible for watching the child in the store. That was your responsibility. Huge A.H. You're the idiot. I read your post and comments. The way you speak about your daughter is horrible. Like, honestly, it does not sound like you even like her, let alone love her. Yes, her behavior was shitty, but I strongly suspect the cause is being surrounded by adults who act, at best, indifferent to her whilst fawning over the six-year-old. Sounds like the whole family has been ignoring your daughter in favor of the golden child rainbow baby, including her own parents. You know what happens when one child gets spoiled to the exclusion of the other? You get an attitude like you're seeing in your 17-yo. You also get a situation where the excluded child leaves at 18 and doesn't look back as in goes full no contact with the family that excluded them. Mm. I would suggest you and the rest of the family correct the behavior that led to this situation before you lose your daughter completely. Was what she said inappropriate? Sure. But she never would have gotten to the point of saying it if the adults in her life had shown her even a modicum of the attention her cousin gets. And you know what? Your daughter is still a child herself. It wasn't her job to search for another child. You're the idiot for letting the situation get to this point. Quit calling a child a rainbow baby. It makes the other kids jealous and the rainbow baby growing up feeling superior to the other kids. Yeah, you're the idiot. First rainbow baby. Wait, again. If that's how you all refer to this six yo, I can only imagine the annoying AF lengths y'all go to. Maybe talk to your own child and figure out why she doesn't feel as welcomed, valued, loved. JFC. She's jealous. Boy, you've only known her for seven years. Sit your behind down with your neglectful about her being jealous of the attention. You think you're the idiot.
You're the idiot from the post. It was more ambiguous, but from your responses, wow, massive, massive AH. Y'all skipped her birthday because the niece was sick? What the duck? And that's only one incident of being put on the back burner that was divulged in the update. No wonder she's doesn't gaff. You're the idiot, I understand, that your niece is six. But your daughter, who didn't have you at all in her life for nine years, isn't at fault here. The way you talk about her is appalling. Was it when your niece was born that you stopped caring about your daughter? When she turned 16, 13, hit puberty, did you ever really care? Because it really sounds like you consider her an afterthought, if you consider her at all. There's a lot missing here that is sending up big old red flags. You mentioned that you got your daughter at nine, at least two years before your niece was born, but you call your niece the only child. No. Wrong. A nine-year-old is a child, and if she only came into your life at nine, then she is one who needs special care. You say she's jealous of the attention the younger one gets. Yeah, I'll bet. She has been pushed aside by her family, who she already felt like an outsider to. Even if your family fully accepted her, she is still going to feel insecure, and your prioritizing your niece only makes it worse. Stop acting like a jealous kid. She is a child. An emotionally fragile one who is going through the drastic rewiring of her brain that occurs in the late teens and early 20s. You are an adult. You should have some compassion for her. To put it bluntly, her and your niece are closer in development and emotional maturity than your daughter and you. At least I hope so, because you should be at least my age if you have a 17-year-old kid. You're the idiot, BTW. Info, do you and your parents give your niece more attention than your daughter? Edited to add a clear, you're the idiot. Why the heck are you calling your niece our baby? She's not a baby, and she's not your kid. Reading your post and your responses makes it sound like you don't consider your daughter just that, your actual child. A month grounding is also ridiculous. You're the idiot. Do you even love your daughter? Everyone sucks here. Obviously hoping that your niece isn't found at asshole behavior, but clearly there is more going on here. Just because you didn't find out about your daughter until she was nine doesn't mean that she still isn't a child in your family. And it sounds like you didn't do anything to address her clear cries for attention when she lashed out previously by being mean to your niece. Her anger is misdirected, but this reads like no one ever counts her as a member of the family. You're the idiot. There's a lot going on here, a lot more than a lost six-year-old child. You need some serious family counseling. Wait, you didn't even know about your own daughter until she was nine? Hold on, you canceled a 17-year-old's birthday because her cousin was sick? And you didn't realize she was being neglected? You're the idiot, holy shit. You skipped her birthday party because your niece was sick, huh? And you weren't already planning a late party? What was the thought process here? You're the idiot. Do you even like your daughter? She's only 17, not yet an adult. You need to talk to your daughter and not punish her. This is lazy and bad parenting. Your daughter's reaction is not okay but I am pretty sure there is a reason for her to act that way. You need to put your daughter first and nice is second. So yes, you're the idiot. You're the idiot 17 and 6. This has been going on since daughter was 11, am I right? She isn't responsible for your niece. Maybe you should be grounded for not keeping a watch on a 6 yo in the crowd. How is your daughter not still a child? She's under your care, yes? She doesn't count because you missed the first nine years of her life. Is that it? and which adult fumbled the ball and lost the niece. How come her parents weren't keeping track of her? What your daughter said was crappy, no doubt. But I mean, she doesn't even really seem to count to you, so you can't blame her. Everyone sucks here. Oh, you're the idiot! She was lashing out because your niece is getting all the attention, and you haven't done anything to correct it. Being a rainbow baby, I hate that term, doesn't make her more special than any other child. She's going to grow up a spoilt brat. I don't agree with what she said, but I can't blame her either. You suck. Congrats. Now she'll hate all of you even more. You're the idiot. You're the idiot. As soon as I seen Rainbow Baby, then I can understand why the daughter gave that reaction. You're the idiot. Your daughter's response is troubling. But it hasn't come out of nowhere. Having read through your comments, it's clear that you have created this situation and refused to take responsibility for your own favoritism, terrible parenting, and nasty attitude. My niece was a rainbow baby and the only child in our family, so naturally she gets a lot of attention. You're the idiot. You're the reason your daughter is like she is. You even admit to it subtly. Not just an A.H., but a failure of a parent. Your daughter should always be more important to you than your niece, regardless of age. A new baby which a six-year-old is not BTW is the cause of a change in focus for the parents, not the aunts and uncles.
Their focus should remain on their own children, especially when they already lost nine years of their child's life. You're the idiot. You're the idiot. She's not responsible for watching the niece. Her parents are adults and need to ensure their kid doesn't wander off while I'm sure the family is grateful for the kid for the fertility issues. The fact that she's fawned over probably has giant resentment for your daughter and missing out the first nine years of her own childhood. You being punitive towards something she neither caused or was responsible to resolve was absolutely bullshit. You didn't know your daughter till she was nine years old, so she has only been in your life for eight years. Meaning your special rainbow baby niece arrived two years after that. So your daughter got thrown in with a bunch of people she's never met and was acknowledged as a grandchildren. Then two years later the special niece arrives, and everyone fawns over her every move and she's the center of attention. You really can't see how your daughter has probably felt tossed to the side her entire life. Your entire family just reinforced that idea. It sounds like the rainbow baby is the golden child and your daughter is left off to the side because they didn't know her as a baby. Her reaction to being asked to search for a child that already gets all of the attention while not appropriate speaks to bigger issues she's experiencing. Maybe stop putting your niece first and focus on the child you missed nine years of her life. You're the idiot. Wrap your head around the fact your daughter should come before your niece. You canceled your teenage daughter's birthday because her six-year-old niece was sick. The niece's parents should get a pass, but why would the rest of the family not want to celebrate your daughter's birthday just because her cousin was sick? How could you not have seen how your niece is treated like the golden child? Your daughter most likely already felt less than because you didn't even know about her until she was nine. Yes, you're the idiot. You skipped her birthday because your niece was sick. Are you ducking joking? And you argued she's not ignored for the niece? So you skipped her birthday and never meant to actually make up for it till now? You're a horrible parent. WTF is wrong with you. You're the idiot. I hope your kid goes nant as soon as she of age. Because for eight years, y'all have favorited the niece. You're the idiot you've spent the majority of the time with your daughter being in your life, prioritizing another child. My heart breaks for her. How and why would the rest of the family care for and prioritize her when her own dad isn't? A too late birthday party certainly isn't enough given her reactions to you. Please get therapy with you and your daughter. Because she's almost to a birthday where she could elect to not speak you at all then you'll be free to put all of your focus on your niece. Original poster, how involved are you with your daughter? How much time do you actually spend with her? Look, a rainbow baby stops being a rainbow baby after a few months and then is just a standardard baby. The fact that your family still at six is fawning over this child is going to create an obnoxious spoiled brat. Your 17 year old, I get a strong sense that she feels very much an other in the family. She knows she is not viewed as a real grandchild. My guess is that has been made very clear to her on many occasions whether you choose to see it or not. And canceling her birthday party because niece is sick? Why did her birthday party hinge on niece's presence? You carry on with the birthday party if someone else is sick. Your daughter's birthday party 100% should not have been canceled because of niece. The only thnig that did was further embitter your daughter because it proved to her where her place is in the family. Long behind niece. Ah, uh, behind.